Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY. And in honor of Star Wars Day, I decided to do a Japanese woodblock print of an ad at Let me show you how I made this. I've always been fascinated with the ad at since I first saw Empire in the theater. They're like a majestic beast. Woodblock prints are traditionally carved from solid cherry. Fruit plywoods are more common now. Uh, I didn't have any of that, so I grabbed some scrap birch ply. These reference blocks are cut from scraps. The only thing that really matters is that they're square with each other and not so much the board. To get the image of the ad at on the board, I traced it on some tracing paper. Flip the paper over so it's a reverse image and use some spray adhesive. If you use a water-based adhesive, the paper will crinkle up really bad. To outline the image, I started using a carving chisel but found that a utility knife worked really great. At first I was trying to be really zen and hand carve the waste areas out, and then I remembered I was carving plywood, grabbed the router and powered that junk out of there. Really pay attention to the grain and how it chips out. I was going over the cut lines multiple times with the utility knife before gouging out the areas. I needed a reference of the actual carved area for the next block, so I inked up an image of the ad ad on a piece of transfer paper. You'll notice here that I put the sky outline right side up instead of reverse. Man, that sucked. It was like trying to pull the price tag off of something. To make it worse, I decided to do this right before we were going to the movies. No pressure. With this print, I was trying to capture the ad at searching for its natural food source, Rebel Scum. Inking was the hardest part. In the videos I saw, people would lay down rice paste and then ink and then mix it together on the block. When I did this, the prints turned out really splotchy. What worked better for me was to mix the rice paste, ink, and some water till the slurry was about a pancake batter consistency. Once the mixture was applied to the block, I used a slightly damp horsehair shoe polish brush to spread the mix. I got one or two pieces to look okay, but I was never able to get an even layer of ink to lay down. Uh, that's why there's a lot of what we'll call test pieces on the floor. I tried a water-based acrylic and watercolors, and in the end the watercolors look the closest to the soft images you would normally see with Japanese woodblock prints. What did I learn from this project? That doing a Japanese woodblock print is really hard. It's not just about the design. There's an equal emphasis put on the person doing the block carving as well as the inking. I mean, I'm a testament to that because none of these came out the same. If you're interested in more builds like this for Star Wars Day, a bunch of us YouTube woodworkers got together and there'll be links to their videos in the description below. And if you don't mind doing me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, check us out on the social media links in the description. And most of all, get out there, make something, and we'll see you next time.